you've got like, you know, Surah 9, verse 29. And that's mm -hmm. like the cause of endless violence, right? This is why I would have to be violently subjugated or die on, on you know, in, in Islam. So let me just see if I can get that back here. <laughs> And notice there are people there are people flipping out. We're sitting here talking about these guys calling for our deaths, harassing women with uh, imagery of torture and rape because they've been influenced by this religion, this book, and they'll get mad at me for for, for holding up a verse that is responsible for millions of deaths and the subjugation of endless people. And you're worried about this. You're oh poor. Poor page, poor Broke paper. Page. You're causing such hurt feelings. Those feelings are the most important thing in the world. Not all the people who are being raped and subjugated. Not all those people. No, <laughs> the piece of paper and all the people who have their feelings based on it. So look at this. Surah 9, verse 29. Fight those who believe not in Allah nor the last day. Notice, it's not. it doesn't say fight people who are attacking you. Fight those who believe not in Allah nor the last day nor hold that forbidden which hath been forbidden by Allah and his messenger, nor acknowledge the religion of truth, it's Islam supposedly, from among the people of the book, as Jews and Christians, until they pay the jizya with willing submission and feel themselves subdued. So Christians and Jews actually have it better because if we pay Muslims in, in acknowledgement of our inferiority, we get to survive. Um, atheists, pagans, polytheists, they don't have that, they don't have that, that same right so when you when you look at the the status of christians in pakistan or egypt or all the places where where christians were conquered it's because of this it's because of this and for some reason christians are oh whatever you do don't hurt anyone over it so let's let's make sure we just you know get this arabic part out just the arabic so notice what 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 ap is pointing out is more <laughs> you have You'll have more people upset that I do this. Yeah. Then you'll have over Muslims saying that, you know, they can't wait to start killing people like the apostate prophet. <laughs> and it's absolutely, absolutely insane. It is. It is crazy. It is crazy. There is there's so. so much here. Is this worse? Is eating this worse? Here, you did it again. David Wood did it again. David Wood ate another piece of the Quran. It's for, it's for you, Hijab. This is for you. Take down your tweets. I stopped eating the Quran, but I'm going to keep how, eating the Quran until you take it, them how down. Does it taste? No, how does it taste? I, it keeps, it really? keeps tasting better and better. I, it's, once, you get a, once you get a taste for the Quran, once you get a taste for the Quran, uh, you just want to have more and more, right? I mean, it's, first it tastes horrible, but the more you have, I'm not, I'm not going to, I don't want to spit this verse out. I want it to go through my entire system. <laughs> you want to do that? I'm thinking I have to wash it down with some water here. Don't pollute yourself, David. Don't pollute yourself. That was my biggest concern. That is my biggest Oh, yeah, concern. there it goes. Went down smooth, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, ah, no Quran. <laughs> Surah 9, verse 29. Muhammad Hijab fans, you know where that's going. You know where that's going. You know where it comes out. And you know... Who had been warned? Yeah. All the powers in his hands. I said, "You do this. You stop doing this. I'll stop doing this." No, me no stop. Me no stop this. Work me strong.